my feet under me, get some stuff going. As you can see, I'm, I'm doing pretty good, actually. Uh, a lot of the, the mobs have been fighting each other, which has really bought me quite a bit of time. My food is way up. I have not connected the hall yet. I'm about to do that, actually. I've been training, moving farms, getting some chickens to re-up my, my arrows. I'm okay with arrows. I got 133. Just kind of skilling everybody up. I'm, I want to open the floodgates and let some of these migrants come in, but here is a problem. <laughs> Giant-ass spider. Two of them. So they've been kind of wandering around, and they haven't been hurting me. I've been aware of them for a while. I've been aware of one of them, and then I noticed two. I don't know if like, the baby one right here grows into a big one. I don't know. These are... So spider matriarchs, they've been kind of all over the map, wandering all over, crisscrossing all over. They apparently just kind of randomly hit my settlement. Uh, I'm not sure. I remember something about spiders climbing walls. <laughs> so I'm a little nervous right now. That's why I'm recording just in case something crazy happens. And we can kind of, you, know, you can see what happens, obviously. Um, unfortunately, I just put some beds down. That's a huge milestone for me. Took me a while to get the, uh, the wheat up. Uh, I've got some chickens that are domesticated, but I'm not sure how they're going to work yet. I set up a pen, but obviously I got the chickens before the pen. I don't know any way to move them, so I'll probably end up killing them and getting new ones if I can ever pacify the area. Um, but, yeah, we're going to have to uh, take out these spiders right now. So, I have my best archer here, which is actually probably not a good idea you know, I'm gonna put her like back away <laughs> like right over here because it's just if this guy doesn't come over the wall great if they do she's still got a line of sight I have Kronos coming up over here I think how the heck is he gonna get alright so just have him chill out right there who oops I, there's so much stuff in here right now. I, I just I hit things no matter where I click. I want to see who's my melee. Not something I want to do, but just in case. Infantry is five. That is a hero. I do not want to do that with hero. This is Mark S. Okay, so Mark, you're my big time miner. I don't want to do that either. But just in case it really hits the fan, because unfortunately, I did actually just finish, you can see I, did, I built a little uh, garrison here, I got a door, four walls, haven't finished the roof, normally wouldn't be a problem, skeletons and these things, spiders, if they climb the walls, this this isn't going to do anything for them. <laughs> so, um, I do remember now, I didn't remember then, I think the, uh, the idea back in the day, and I don't remember if they did this or not, I think they did, I think they did climb walls, the little ones did anyway. If you put a outcropping along the edge of your wall, like so like right along here, the top wall, a little extension out so that they would have to climb upside down, they will not climb your wall. Well, guess what? I don't have that. I actually kind of have it right here by accident. It wasn't planned at all. But they could always just climb this wall here. So, um, not sure how this is going to go. We're just going to hit play and, and see what happens here. It doesn't seem to be climbing the wall. Alright, Spider has been spotted by Kronos. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can't. Alright, he's... Nope. They're shooting down. The, the wall, the door is gone. Okay. The, it's spotted. I get that. Get in there and kill it. These doors are not worth anything. Here comes the other one. Oh boy. Yeah, this is this is not so good. Now, can he get away anywhere? He can for now. Let's move him over there. They're coming after her for sure. Problem I I'm worried about is he is going to be useless. So let's just see how that plays out for a minute. Oh, man. That just got destroyed. Tried to kite. That's not good. Mary Wood was a pretty... She's about our best archer. She was actually really important. Um, so, yeah. And, and she was part of the reason why I was going to be able to start bringing other people in. Now, I don't know how he, how on earth he is going to... He's going to kill these things. I mean, he's got four or five arrows in it already. And then he's got another one. So... Uh, you're gonna have to get ready. Do you ha are you geared up? You are. You got a copper spear. That's it. Uh, let me see if I have. I should have other armor. No. Yeah, I've got leather tunic. Sweet, awesome. That's really gonna do the job. All right. Well, he's going there. Obviously, get fitted up. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to have to play it out a little, see what happens. Okay, here's, here's the problem. I don't like how this is going. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't go too far, actually, because what if... Hmm... I was gonna pull him over here, but they can go up those stairs. So we're just gonna have to fight it out and see. What... Where are you going, dude? Now you're gonna die. Now you're just gonna die. Oh my god! One shot. That was just dumb pathfinding. Where did I? I don't even remember where I put him now. Well, that's on me as much as him. So I I think this is the end, which is really really disappointing because I was so close. Again, I, I keep coming up just. Just short. Oh, my, my chicken died. These things are monsters. It's like near death. Near death. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know what that's going to do for me. You're an inf I, At this point, I don't know what to do. I mean, I, I got three guys left. Right. Oh, yeah. Jurats is over here. And you're going to go Archer? I mean, you're the the real only hope. I'm hoping they don't see them yet and buy me some time, but they do. I, I don't know. Mark is going to do a Valiant try. They go, are they going after the food? That would be pretty interesting. All right, what are you doing? Wow. These, I mean, if, like, one wouldn't be hard enough, <laughs> I have to fight two. Near death, near death, did he, I guess he did not hit them. All right. So, unfortunately, this is going to be the end of this season. I, I, I'm not going to, I can't go on with two people, and it's really disappointing. I just want to see one die. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy shoot. All right, you've been telling me near death for, uh, I don't even know, like, uh, and you missed. That's it, folks. That is it. Really disappointing. Really disappointing. I don't know what else to say there. I, what am I supposed to do there? I mean, get two, obviously, these are the, the big time boss mobs. I, I think those are the hardest ones. I mean. There was six, seven, eight arrows into one of them. I'm confused there. Uh, what I mean, the bottom line here is doors aren't worth a damn. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. I mean, I'm going to have to do some extensive work out here to keep them off the wall. Uh, be it a maze or something. I, I don't even know. Because the walls, the doors just don't hold. They just don't hold, and I mean, there's unless you have several, ar you know, archers up here, there's just nothing you can do. Now, sure, I, I, again, I, as we restart, I'm gonna do things differently in the beginning, and you know, not get wealthy as fast as I did. Now, some of you can say, Where, "Where's the blister? Why didn't you do the blister?" I was prepared to do that. Unfortunately, the blister bolts take iron i don't have any iron i just don't i mean it's it's i thought this map was actually pretty abundant and i, I have to recheck it but i i was not finding much at all and and that's the, the one reason why i don't think i will do this map again i do have it saved i want to do it i will look for a map with the same idea you know that, that we can do do this up here but i think my prioritization will absolutely be like abundant iron because I, I just i don't i don't know i feel like that was my choke point uh that and and beds to a lesser extent which i of course just got but again you see i mean i had two castle doors you would think that would buy me a little bit of time at least enough to kill one of the spiders if i had killed one and one got in hey fair play rotten luck which is kind of what i feel like i've gotten the whole way along here um yeah, I just, I, I wasn't able to produce any military, it was, it was the big thing. And, you know, it was like, I wanted to put the hall back in, but I didn't want to ring the dinner bell and have exactly that happen, basically. And they didn't even come for the hall, they just, again, randomly hit my settlement, so... There's no way, I actually want to look, because there was a huge campment of baddies out here. 
Yeah, look at this. Look at all the skeletons and wolves. And then, of course, the two spiders are running around. Let's just take a look around. See what's here. Which I haven't seen a necromancer in a while. So that, that was actually... I was I was encouraged by that. Lots of wolves. But wolves are actually very susceptible to, to archers. Which is makes me not really worry about them. Especially how I was going defensively. Lots of little spiders around. Now, I don't know. I mean, how do the matriarchs do? Do they spawn? Or is it kind of like one of these little spiders? You don't kill them. And they grow, you know, that kind of thing. I'm not sure. The wolf, there, yeah, there's wolves everywhere. That's not a big, big thing. Now, the one, the one thing that is cool, I mean, tons of skeletons here. I would imagine there's going to be a necromancer that would have spawned and, and controlled them. I think that's kind of how it works. I'm not sure. Tons of wolves. I'm not really worried about wolves. Not really worried about skeletons anymore either, just because I have some defenses now and I can pluck them off. Um, is, you see right here, here's a goblin archer. The goblins, it seems, and the skeletons, and the, do not, and the wolves even, they don't like each other. Which you would think the wolves do. They ride them, but... <sighs> yeah, pretty extensive mine down there. I don't know if you guys have even seen it. Had a mine going, some food cellaring. So, how did that go? Yeah. I mean, what are we going to do here? I'm just kind of looking, reviewing. So, I'll probably watch this video back over. I don't, I don't think, I mean, the design could be better. It could be more efficient in the beginning. That was a big Achilles heel of mine. I didn't do a very good job in the beginning, and that kind of hamstrung me for the rest, which, you know, I'm going to be more defensive right from the outset, but it's not something in my previous build and pre uh, previous game, uh, season one, that I that I, that I needed. It, you know, I had a lot of time, which I think I will be too. If I don't, if I come in with eight guys, I mean, I just did all this with five, you know, which is pretty good. So eight, you can definitely get stuff done. It's probably going to feel like a luxury for me now. Uh, do not do the haul. Do not bring that attention to myself yet. Be somewhat conservative with my mining. Don't just blow out a huge mine right away. Uh, what I'll probably do, and, and we'll talk about this in the first episode, is dig a moat right off the bat, and that's where I'll get my rock and stuff from, and then do a wall. Uh, because, you know, that, that would be a really good way to do that. Offers me real good protection, because yes, things can break the wall, but nothing can really climb through. We do now know, A, necromancers go through doors, so that devalues doors as well again. Um, and spiders cannot climb walls, or at least they did not, where I, f they, I felt they should have. So they didn't, so it doesn't look like they could. The s little ones maybe can. But uh, I'm thinking maybe they can hear the same airlock idea, but go this way, then a wall this way, <laughs> and around this way. So it's going to really inconvenience my guys going in and out, but that doesn't happen very often, so... I don't know, you know, this way, a spider or anything, even a necromancer would have to, you know, would just walk through the door, would have to turn this way, go around a wall and around this way. Think the long, you know, queues you get at the airport and things, uh, you know, at amusement parks and stuff. So this way, you know, one archer on a big tower in the middle is going to shoot, 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 be able to shoot all the way around. That That's kind of just off the top of my head right now because I've got to slow them down. I mean, they just went through these too quick. These things are pretty much monsters. Everybody did really well. I'm actually kind of happy that I held on as long as I did. And I was starting to rally. Again, that first raid by the goblin marauders on the, on the wolves was, was rough because I was so close to defending them. And in this one, I was just so close to getting rallied back up. But what can you do? Not too much. Um, but there you go. There's the end of Season 2, guys. The colony did not succeed. It is over. Uh, like I said, uh, the next map, I don't know that I will do this one. I'll have to check. Uh, because if there's no way I can tell what the minerals are, which I'm pretty sure that iron was a pretty uh, abundant mineral. But I have another idea. Perhaps we'll do it. Uh, obviously, the next season is not going to be so much about a grand plan. Uh, I'm still going to have one and a, a long-term goal. But it's going to be about survival. Uh, you know, I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of frustrated. Kind of disappointed. Uh, but I'm kind of excited that now the game seems to have some end game. You know, it seems to have a challenge. Whereas season one, you know, it was my first minute playing the game. And I went on and played for, I have it written down here. I did 22 episodes in season one. Um, I went on for 42 days, I think. And that was when I quit. I didn't get defeated. You know, I could have gone on with that colony, you know, until whenever. Nothing was going to really take me out at that point. It was, you know, about 50, 55 hours of play on that settlement alone. And that was starting in my first minute, knowing nothing about the game. You know, at that time, there was very few, like, Let's Plays or anything. There was really no information. You had to find out on your own. So the fact that um, I made it until day, was it 14, I believe it said here? 
Uh, I'm not sure. I could be wrong on that. I, I feel like I still I don't have to look back at the video, or you guys can look back. You rewind. Um, and on my second playthrough, and I, I mean, I really had a rough go of it. I mean, really did. These guys were kicking, excuse me, kicking my butt. So I'm determined now. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was more of a uh, let's play on what kind of not to do or what kind of a couple setbacks really early on can do for you or, or improper planning or improper prior prioritization. Um, so I am going to lick my wounds, come up with a game plan. Obviously, you guys are quite a few probably days behind me at this point as I record this. I think you guys are in episode four. This would probably be episode 11 ish, maybe 12. I, I don't recall. You know, I don't know how they're all going to cut and edit out. Um, so there's going to be some time there, probably about a week before you guys catch up to me. And by then I should have a pretty good idea what I want to do and be ready to go again. I'll probably have actually already started it. So thanks for watching guys. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. If you want me to do another season and uh, I will talk to you soon guys. Take care. Thank you.